And here's another example from my Cypress Examples website. Imagine the application is adding a custom property to a window object. How would you check it? Notice that the application is adding it after one second. So whatever we write has to account for that and keep retrying until it finds that property. So we can get the window object for application using style window command, and then we can get its property app custom field using sci its command. And notice this command actually retries, notice the blue, right? And only when that property is defined in the object, then it yields its value. So we can write an assertion, should equal 42. Mm, excellent. Sci its keeps retrying and retrying until it times out, or it finds a property. By the way, the same code can be tested using sci window should have property and the name of the property and optionally the value assertion. It works the same way. I kind of like the its command because it allows you to use, for example, nested paths. There are situations though when we don't need to retry sci its command because the object that we're checking will never change. Here's one example. Imagine I'm making a Cypress request. So it goes to the server, fetches this uh, response. And then I want to check that its data, that uh, the object that is sent back, you know, includes certain keys like ID, name, and maybe email. Now, I don't remember which field it returns, so I'm using data. And notice the sci its command keeps retrying and trying to get data. And at the end, it fails because data does not exist on the response object. If we open the console and click on the request, we can see that it yields an object with status, headers, duration, and the body property. So we literally should find the body. But before we do that, Notice that the result right here will never change. So it will never acquire a new property. So we don't have to retry. So just for this, I will add a timeout of zero to disable the retry setting to zero for this command, leaving the default custom command unchanged. Okay, so let's fix the property. And now everything is working and doesn't wait unnecessarily for something that will never happen.